Hello everyone, this is Old School from WhatTheBuck.net, coming to you live and direct from Valrico. Uh, D. Sanchez and I are getting ready to head out for New Orleans tomorrow morning with Buck Fan Tours. We are amped about the starting of the season. The Bucks are going out to New Orleans. Uh, thankfully it was uh, skirted by Gustav, and it looks like they're going to still have the game out there, so we're going to fly out and experience that Mardi Gras style. Uh, so it should be a good time. Hopefully everyone's recovering well there and, and everything's going to be normal, or as close to normal as you can be when you get through a storm. Uh, so with that being said, I want to do a little bit of a preview of the Saints game. Remind you folks, we will be sending updates out probably every night uh, from the French Quarter where we're staying and letting you guys know what's going on in New Orleans. This was uh, literally Ray J uh, pseudo West last year. There's a lot of Bucks fans that make this trip. Uh, if you can't go this year, if you get a chance, I highly recommend it. The, the city is amazing, uh, and the people are ridiculously warm, even in a situation like this last year where we had just beaten them. They were very, very nice to uh, to hang out with. So. As we talk about the Saints, there's a couple of things we want to definitely make sure we take a, keep an eye on. The Saints have a ridiculously high-powered offense. Uh, the, the players' names you all know, right? Breeze, McAllister, Bush, Colston, Shockey now. Um, David Patton, uh, new Robert Meacham last year, didn't do much this year, looks great in preseason. Right? The offense is clearly going to put points on the board, so the only way you can stop that is by either having a, just a stellar defense or, better yet, having a combination of a stellar defense and a ball control offense. And that's what we hope to see here by the Bucks. We hope to see the offensive line, even in the absence of Davin Joseph, step up and really control the trenches against a pretty strong front seven, to be quite honest with the Saints. They've got the big-name people like Smith and Grant on the edge, but they've got you know, up-and-comer, uh, up uh, I guess you'd have to call him as a new draft pick, Cedric Ellis in the middle, uh, and they've got a hell of a linebacking crew uh, with Vilma coming over from the Jets and then Shanley and Fujita both have just speed to burn. Now, once you get past that front seven is where the Saints' defense seems to fall apart a little bit. Everyone knows about Jason David being a little less than stellar last year. Uh, he's still listed in the depth chart as the number one corner out there on the right side, opposite Mike McKenzie. That's not going to be the case. You're going to see Tracy Porter probably or Randall Gay uh, take that spot. But regardless of that, the secondary is really where they're susceptible. Uh, so the Bucks are going to have to try and grind things out, see if their hat on a hat uh, blocking can open up some spots in the one and two gap for Ernest Graham or Warwick Dunn or Michael Bennett if he dresses. Uh, move the ball down the field, grind the clock, keep Breeze in that high-powered offense on the sideline, and if by establishing the run, hopefully we can get them to creep some more guys in the box, we can take advantage of that, go to the play action, and Joey Galloway can do what Joey Galloway does with the Saints, which, as my partner mentioned tonight, uh, you know, put up 224 yards uh, and I guess two touchdowns uh, against them last year. So he has uh, typically a good a good game against New Orleans. Uh, it might have been one touchdown. I apologize on that if that stat's incorrect. So for anyone who wants to catch me, you can go ahead and post that in the comments, which I'm sure you will. Uh, additionally, uh, you know, the Saints are the ones who coined the phrase, if you're even, you're beat with regards to the White Tiger. So we should see what happens. Now this is going to set the tone for the NFC South um, with the winner obviously taking a lead and with those two being the two that are in hot contention along with Carolina, the Atlanta Falcons are kind of an afterthought. So uh, I see the Bucks taking this game 23-13. I hope that's what's going to play out. Uh, we will definitely let you know how things are going when we're there. If you uh, are a Bucks fan or interested in hearing what we have to talk about, uh, I am from whatthebuck.net. And uh, tune in. We, we have a live show Mondays and Thursdays at 7 o'clock. It goes for about an hour, an hour and a half. And we'd love to have you. So talk to you soon.